Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to add a QR code for your business cards which we have created in the previous tutorials. So as you can see I do have a QR code on the back of my business card so if I zoom out a little bit like so you will see that if I change the input name you know the QR code on the back of the business cards is changing as well. So you can just hand out those business cards to someone else and they don't have to retype the email. They can just you know place your phone over the QR code and they will automatically get this email so they can just write to an email so which is this is pretty cool feature so let's see what we have from the last time so this is what we have from the last time we just have the plain back you know back with just initial letter so maybe before we actually start adding the QR code let's focus on the colors maybe you don't like the screen anymore just because you are looking at it all the time so how would we change the color and it's pretty easy because just because we have used the color themes now how do you know that we have used the color themes if i select anything and i will just open the selection pane just so i can select the hexagon if i open the format and drop down menu for the color anything up top is a color theme anything down there or even if i select the more fill colors those are just custom colors now if i use any of those colors it's pretty easy to change those going to the design and changing color theme in here so as you can see as i'm scrolling over the different themes the color is changing now what about if i want to have a speci very specific color if i open the drop down again the first four columns are main you know mainly used or, or intended to be used for text and then we have one two three four five six different you know ex what's called accent colors so we are using the color number three so if i jump to the design and open the color drop down i can select customize colors and now i have four you know columns for the text and accent one two three four five six we know that we are using color number three so if i change this to any other color like maybe red and select save you know the color is changed immediately now i don't like this red color so i will open it again but i will not choose customize colors because that will just create a new color team new color palette i will instead right click the custom free which is my current palette and select edit and i will change this red color to something more appropriate maybe i will change this to like this dark violet maybe i will make it a little bit more darker more saturated like this like so and i kind of like this color so i'll keep it there okay so now when the color is set let's focus on the qr code and there are two different ways how to add a qr code and they are both not so simple so for the first one what i will do is i will just jump into some you know some empty space below in the next page and usually when you add a new field you will go to mailings you select insert merge field and just say i want an email in here and if i turn off the preview result you can see that there's the email now there there is a second way how to see those fields if you press alt f9 you will actually see the code this is merge field email now in order to add a new QR code i have to add a new field which is not a merge field but merge barcode and in order to write those brackets i have to press ctrl f9 so ctrl f9 will give me those brackets then i will type in merge barcode and i need to say from which field i want to merge it so i want to use a field email as well now the email is just something that i've made up you know the email is a name of the column in the excel spreadsheet so if i open the insert merge field those are the columns in my excel spreadsheet if i even open the edit recipients list you can see that i have the name position email phone and initials those names are just made up by me uh, you know i can just rename those to anything else but i have to make sure that the, this this string matches the name of the of the column if i press alt f9 i will probably get error because it says required parameters are missing or incorrect that's because i not only need to select which which uh, column to use i have to say which type of barcode i want to use and in, in this case i want to use barcode which is square code now if i press alt f9 i'm still getting error and that's, I, I believe that's just because i have to do it again i have to press ctrl f9 insert merge barcode email and queer if i do it again like this and press alt f9 something is happening and if i say preview results voila i get the qr code now from this point it's pretty easy i can right click the qr code and select edit barcode and i can select from any type of code 
and I can even change the property. So for the QR code, I mean, I can set the field, of course, which will be which will be used for the QR code, and I can click Advanced and set the level of recovery for the QR code, the scaling, the rotation by 90 degrees, and the foreground and background color. We will definitely be using foreground and background color for our QR codes, but let let's keep it right now like it is. And let's see what is the second way how to add a QR code without needing to press Alt F9, Control F9, without needing to write merge, bar, merge barcode. So for some very unknown reason, at least unknown to me, if you know why it's happening, you can write in your comments. The QR codes are language dependent, meaning if I have a Japanese language installed, I will get the button to insert a QR code. So let's try it. I will jump to file and I, I will open the options. And in the languages, I want to add a new language being the Japanese. So I will scroll down until I will find Japanese, which is down here. And I will just say add a new Japanese. Then I will click OK. And it will tell me I have to restart office to make to take changes. So let's say let's OK. I will restart office. Now, one thing which I haven't mentioned, if you open the your document with your business cards, you will get this, it's not an error, it's a warning. And it's saying that, you know, there is something like select everything from some sheet, which doesn't make much sense until you open the help, which says, maybe you are seeing this dialog because you are using a document which access, you know, like a mailing list from Excel spreadsheet. So it's just for you to know if you get this document from someone else, there may be something wrong, but you know, it, it may be distracting. Of course, you have to click OK to make sure that you will get those items from the Excel spreadsheet. So this is where we left off with our custom query code, which we had to, you know, insert in the very specific way. Now, when I have the Japanese language installed and I can just click in here and see the Japanese in here, I can go to mailings, which is up here and voila, I can see a new button, which is called insert barcode field. So what I need to do is just to click this one, select uh, select a field and a barcode type. And I will select the email and of course square code. Now this list is kind of small, that's just because the show all types is not checked. I can just check it if I want. I will click OK and I will get the very same looking QR code but without the need to press the Alt, 9, Alt F9 or Control F9. Now the good thing is that once the QR code is in there, you don't need to care about the Japanese at all. You can just remove it from your wrist if you want to. I will keep it and I will delete this QR code instead. What I will do is I will delete all the back sides except for the first one, like so. Zoom in a little bit and I will probably show the selection pane. So home, select selection pane. And I have the rectangle, the hexagon and the text box. I will make the hexagon much bigger because the QR code will be probably much bigger or at least something, you know, some bigger. And I will also make the text box a little bit bigger. What I will do now is I will select mailings. I'll actually delete this, delete this field, select mailings, insert barcode from email. It will be a QR code like so. Now it's black and I probably want this to be violet, but if I open the properties or I, if I right click, select edit barcode, advanced, I can change the foreground, but I have to select this color manually. You can see it's kind of like different kind of UI. So I have to click more colors and just try to set the color to be the same or I can just open the different drop down and make sure that I remember red, green and blue values. I guess I'm fine if I just set it to somehow similar color like so. Okay, it doesn't matter too much if it's a little bit different. But what you can see is that the background is not transparent, it's white and it is not quite fitting the, the you know, hexagon. What I will do is I will just make sure that everything is aligned like so, making this like this. Then I will select this to be center aligned and in the format I will select the alignment to be in the middle, which is not and that may be for a few different reasons. One reason may be that if I right click and select format shape, this text box maybe have some margins, so I will set those margins to zero for all sides. It's still not centered and that may be due to the line spacing. So I will open the line spacing dialog and make sure that there is no spacing before or after and the line spacing is set to single. Okay, 
Now it seems like that everything is pretty much aligned in the center, but I still see those corners. While, you know, the information is not there, the QR code is only in the middle. What I can do is I can just copy paste this hexagon one more time, place it on top on the very same position, and set the fill to be no fill, and the outline to be our color, which is this one. And then I will just start increasing the line width. So I will open the format shape pane, and for the line I will just keep increasing it until I will not see those borders. Maybe I have to make both hexagons a little bit bigger. There is actually a sh keyboard shortcut to do this. So if I select the first hexagon and the second hexagon with the control key pressed to select both, I can I can press shift and up arrow and shift, shift and right arrow to make it uh, wider and taller, like so. Okay, so now everything looks great. If I zoom out, I can try to switch between different I will zoom up a little bit more, switch between different field and uh, different entries and see that the barcode is you know QR code is changing as well. So that's that's perfectly fine. Maybe one thing I can do is I can try to lower the recover level. The recover level is if you don't have you know everything visible, maybe some things are hidden or maybe some things are damaged, it will still be able to recover the data but just because this is on the on the business card it's very unlikely that something will be hidden or destroyed so i can right click and select edit barcode and for advanced properties i will lower the level of recovery to maybe seven percent so only seven percent of the QR code could be damaged or or removed or hidden in order to recover that data but that's fine and the upside is that now the QR code will have much less dots or pixels so it will be also a little bit smaller like so that looks much better so what i can do is select everything copy this into clipboard using ctrl c and just paste this eight times or seven times i will get rid of this empty blank page and if i jump between different entries you can see that the query code is changing as well so everything is working as expected and that's it that's how you add a QR code for your business cards so anyone else will get those business cards don't have to retype the email address they can just point your point their phones with the photo application you know running and it will automatically show you hey do you want to write an email yes i want okay that's it thanks for watching also if you have any ideas or suggestions what i should record next i would love to hear it from you so please leave it in the comments see you next time